Today we're going to cover the bid image manager. Now you can access the bid image manager from the scenarios, the sections, or the pages breadcrumb. Simply move your mouse over and click on the manage images icon. Once you left click on the manage images icon, you'll be presented with this window. Now this is the bid image manager window. This is the home screen. And we do respect paging here for the images. So as you start to build a list of images, you will hit the page maximum. And then down here at the bottom left hand corner, you actually have your arrows to thumb through those pages. Also on this screen, you have the capability to create a folder. So if you wanted to be able to add a folder in and assign images to that folder, you can click the add folder option, give that folder a name and a description and click save. Once you click save, that folder will be available for you to assign images to. How you would assign those images is by clicking on the image in the white checkbox, right clicking on the mouse and then saying move to folder. Once you say move to folder, it'll allow you to assign these three images to a specific folder that you have created. You'll also notice that there's a create page option here. This is gonna allow you to create a page out of all three of these images simultaneously. Once you click the create page option, you'll be presented with this dialog box. We do allow you to change the scenario and the section. If you would like, you can put a scale in. We do recommend that you calculate the scale based off of a known dimension on the background image though. And you also have the capability to change the page name. If you make any modifications, once you're done making those modifications, go ahead and click save. And those images will now be created as pages inside of your project that you can go do takeoff on. Now you do have a step further in the bid image manager. Ultimately, you can click the arrow button on any page and it'll take you into that image and give you almost like a PDF viewer capability. Inside of here, you have a couple options. First thing at the top is you have arrows. These arrows are going to allow you to thumb through the images that you have loaded into your project. You have the edit button. The edit button allows you to change the description of this image itself. You also have another icon, which is the create a page icon. This is going to allow you to take this one image and create it as a page inside of your project. So that way you can go do takeoff on it. Over here on the left hand side, you have the select button that just allows you to select and basically zoom in and out. It would take you out of a draw mode if you went into draw mode. Here you have zoom to fit screen. So it's going to zoom you all the way out to fit the entire image in the screen. Here you have zoom to a select area. So if you were to select that, you left click in the upper left, left click in the bottom right. Once you do that, it's gonna zoom you in on that specific area. You do also have the ability to use the mouse wheel. So you can just scroll towards your body to zoom out. You can scroll away from your body to zoom in with the mouse wheel. Moving back over here to the left, you do have overlay or compare. So if you had two images that you wanted to overlay, you could simply click on the overlay tool. Once you click on the overlay tool on the right hand side of the screen, you'll get a drop down. This is going to allow you to pull in an image. In this case, I'm going to pull in the third floor plan here and hit compare. Now, once I compare, I'm going to be presented with two different colored sets of floor plans. The original floor plan is displayed in red. And the new floor plan, the one that you're overlaying the original with, is displayed in blue. You'll notice that we have some areas that highlight in black. Those are perfectly overlaid and there's no change there. If for whatever reason the two images that you overlaid were not perfectly aligned, you do have the capability to align those over here on the right hand side. Simply click the align tool and then follow the on-screen commands. And once you follow the on-screen commands, it'll allow you to realign those images. Now, in this case, the next tool that we have is the cropping tool. The cropping tool allows you to do exactly what it says, and that's to crop the image. So in this case, if I wanted to break these details out, I could actually click the crop tool. I could go right over here, left click in the upper left, left click in the bottom right, and then if I wanted to, I could save that as a new image. Simply type the image name in here and hit save. The other tools that we have are a de-skew tool and you also have a rotate clockwise and rotate counterclockwise. So if you pulled an image in and that image was 
not upright and you wanted it to be upright, you could use the rotate clockwise or counterclockwise to allow you to get that image in the format that you would like to see it. The de-skew option is for, let's say if you had satellite imagery, let's say you were working on a roof and you took a satellite image or you took, you know, Google Earth image, drone image, something along that lines. And again, the image wasn't perfectly aligned. Well, what you could do is you could click de-skew and what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to draw a two point horizontal line. So you would just follow one side of the building, click on one end, move your mouse to the other end, click on the other end. And once you do that, it'll actually straighten the image out for you. So that way you can use tools like the ortho tool and the rectangle tool when you're out on your takeoff screen. Ultimately, if you want to leave the bit image manager, there are a couple different ways. The easiest way is simply clicking on the exit button here at the top. Your other option is, is you can click back on the bid name here, and then you can close out from this main window just by clicking the exit button. It is important to note that that bid image manager is a separate window. So if you're working in multiple monitors, you can actually grab that there at the top, drag that to a separate monitor and have that open at all times if you would like to. If you have any additional questions or if you're working in the image manager and you run into any issues, please feel free to reach out to our tech team. They'd be happy to assist you in any way they can. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.